What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be going over our housing guide. Now, if you guys don't know, uh, we do have a housing system. If you guys didn't check out my last video, I showed you guys how to get all the developer logs and how to get the housing system. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what your priorities and everything like that should be and what you should be doing. So starting out, you do want to have your developer center level one. After you get your developer center level one, you can start upgrading other buildings. Now, keep in mind, you can never have another building higher than your development center. So my development center is level two. So I can't take any of these to level three until my developer center is level three. Now, the thing about this is to upgrade all of this stuff, you have to go and fight enemies. Whenever you kill enemies in your world, they will drop the resources to upgrade your things. Now, this is only inside the, the housing space. This, in, this is not for artificial island. You have to make sure you're here inside your, your housing space. So click build, click go. You have to be inside here for you to get the resources from the enemies. Now, once you kill an enemy, it does not respawn until weekly reset. So killing all of the enemies, um, you want to kill all the enemies in one week. And then once weekly reset, all the enemies will respawn and you can do whatever you need to do again. So that's whatever. Now, the thing about this is you have multiple different things that you can level up and you have multiple different resources. As you guys see right here, this requires some of every resource because it's the development center. If you go look at pumpkin house, this requires a couple of different things. If you go look at kitten house, this requires a couple of different. So each one's going to require, you know, different things depending on, you know, whatever. So make sure you guys go all around this map and the map is small. You see the red line. You can't go out the red line. So the map is pretty small for your housing space. Well, it's small in comparison to the normal map. But anyways, you want to go around killing at, you know, as many enemies as you can find, hopefully all of them, and you'll get as much resources as you can. Now, the question is, what should you prioritize? What should you be building first? So starting out, we're going to go here. To the shop the exchange shop is going to allow you to buy stuff with your resources now as far as what you should be buying out of this shop you can go for everything but the main thing you want to be prioritizing is your ssr relic shard and it's a weekly box and then your sr relic shard and the reason why is because if you guys don't know relics give a a passive boost as you can see the four star increased frost damage by 1.5% even if not deployed. So you don't even have to have it equipped. If you have the four star, it just boosts you automatically. And there's there's multiple. If you look at uh, this one right here, the four star increased frost damage by 2% even if not deployed. So there's multiple different ones that give it for frost for every element. Frost, vault, physical, flame, all of them. So you want to make sure that you're prioritizing that as far as the shop goes. But if we also go over here, you can see the workshop. And as far as the workshop goes, there are a multitude of different things you can build. If you scroll all the way down here, you will notice you can actually build or make SSR matrix. Now, don't get carried away. I, I know some people might be like, yo, oh my goodness, Zuba Subasa matrix. I want to make Subasa matrix or oh my goodness. Don't get too crazy. As you guys can see, it says Kitten House reaches level 5 or Paw Paw House reaches level 5. The main two, and these are the two that you want to work on the most over all the others, is the Kitten House, because you can build Crow Matrixes, and the Paw Paw House, because you can build Samir Matrices. Those are the two that you want to prioritize over all the other ones, because Samir and Crow are going to be the two Matrix... You know the two matrix sets that you're going to be running on your dps's you want to get those to six star as or six star three star um as soon as possible i believe they go to three star that's the max right um if i'm wrong i apologize but i'm pretty sure that they only go to uh three star or maybe four star four star excuse me but yeah so the two that you want to prioritize are those and if you want to go into your build and see they're all named here so once again the kitty house and the Paw Paw House. Now, I don't know why these are the names, but that's what it is. Anyways, like I said, you, you want to uh, prioritize this one and you want to prioritize this one. Now, if you guys want to, you know, take a shortcut to get to any of this stuff, click build and you can click exchange shop and it'll take you straight there. 
or you can click the build and click fuse and it'll take you straight here so there you go as far as that also the claim button right here is going to give you resources from your places so as you level them up they will generate resources over time so you want to max them out as soon as possible obviously you want to max them all out eventually but the main two that you want to prioritize is the kitty house and the pawpaw house because those are going to be allowing you to get the, the samir matrix and the crow matrix but anyways um you can also prioritize whatever you need as far as whatever shop because right here as you can see um you want to get the uh these these materials right here so based off of that you do want to go into here and then you want to look at the information and what they give you right now lucky for you the kitty house gives you this resource so i'd say maxing out the kitty house first is your first priority over everything and then the pawpaw house is the second priority over everything else because the kitty house not only gives you the crow matrix it which is going to be it, it, but crow matrix is better than samir matrix late game because you'll always crit but anyways it gives you the crow matrix and it'll allow you to get the ssr and sr uh shards so if you wanted to know the priorities on everything the kitty um the kitty house is the first one pawpaw house is the second one and then you can do everything else that you need to now obviously the developer center you have to get up you know before you can get anything else up so as far as all of that there you go and just to show you guys i'm not you know trying to sell anyone short or anything i'll go ahead and get this one up to level two and um this one up to level two so as far as all of that those are the two that you want to max out as soon as possible asap but anyways i hope i helped you guys out uh that is pretty much all you need to know like i said you need to make sure that you farm you need to run around all of this and go find all types of enemies right you're, they're going to be all types of enemies there are going to be some bigger bosses like some actual like world bosses but they're going to be pr decently weak i actually i soloed one perfectly fine by myself with my brand new physical team i made so you guys won't have any trouble um most of you guys won't have any trouble like you'll have trouble if you're like level 25 but if you're like level 50 or 60 or above you should be good to go you're probably not going to have any trouble fighting the world bosses and you're definitely not going to have any trouble fighting the mini bosses as well so make sure you guys are farming your your um all of your enemies like i said they do not respawn until weekly reset so once you kill them they won't respawn so you only got to do it once a week but kill all of your enemies get your resources level up all the stuff you need to level up buy the stuff that you need to buy from the shops and everything like that and you are good to go but anyways that is going to be it for this video be sure to give a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys did in the comment section below with that being said i will see you guys next time peace